Well, everyone, time again for another how-to. Basically, it's a video about me installing a nipple on my Thunderbird SC um, intake plenum on the back there. So we have here, I believe it's a 1-8 pipe threaded. I guess I'll get a better view here. Um, fitting. Um, the 1 quarter is too big. The 1 eighth here is the perfect size. Um, the example of what I pulled out of there originally. This was on top of the supercharger inlet there, and what's happening, it was actually wobbling back and forth, and it was tight, but still a little bit loose. I used some red silicone to try to make sure it didn't have any vacuum leaks, but I just got fed up with it. And so I had to go ahead and put, install this. Of course, to install this, you need a tap and die. So, here is the tap and die. And it is a 1.8, um, 27, which I guess is a standard thread pitch for a pipe. Um, you can't really see it right now because of the, the resolution of this video, but there's a lot of shavings on the end of this. So, due to the clearance issues of, the, of getting back here, you have a limited space to get this in. As you see the tape there, that marks how far I had to go before I had to stop. So, what I did was, I grabbed my 7mm, it works really well on that. So, I sat there, got it lined up best I could, and started threading it in. Okay, so now you're saying, well, now you threaded it, you pulled it out, and you have metal shavings. Now what? Well, if you're bored like me, and you have a roll of duct tape, you go ahead and you duct tape this end off. You got some vacuum hose here. I duct taped it off with my shop vac here, my shop vac, and went ahead and took the line, like, we get back with the vacuum on, of course, and then sucked all the debris out right there. And, of course, you open the butterfly to get a little more airflow if that really needs it. And then I went ahead and sent it down to the throttle body and tried sucking it up, which worked okay. Then I was w realizing how big my throttle body is, I just went ahead and pulled it off and sucked this down the throttle body up to the opening, sucked any more residue out. And to be on the safe side and clean up, I even used Q-tips with oil on the end of them to grab any of the, if there's anything wrong with the um, debris in there that was sticking. This grabbed it, and it came out pretty clean. It was a little grimy, but it came out clean. So the final step here is to stick the fitting in. Now, the fitting here, I'm using high temp thread sealant to make sure it's going to go good. So let's go ahead and throw this on real quick. Oh yeah, so it's really easy one-handed. There we go. That should do it. And there we go. So now the fun part. Find the threads, find the threads, find the threads, oh, find the threads there. And there we go, found the threads. Easy as pie, and there we go. Now, plug this fitting in here, and I'm done. I have it teed off because I was doing some vacuum experiments um, on my engine here, so, but, anyway, that's it. So if you ever want to change your fittings out, um, for the size here, which is a 1.8, um, it has a pipe thread, you have to get a tap and die for it. That's simple as that. So, you have to pull the chip charter off on the engine. Um, as long as you vacuum out everything, you should be fine. So, that is it. Have a good day, everyone. Oh, small tip mod. If you're constantly playing around for a throttle position sensor voltage, just tee off the green wire, and then you can just use this as a just ground out for a volt meter off the engine here, and just get a constant read. So, try and stick your little probe into the harness constantly. Anyway, have a good day, everyone.